Hello and uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Train Simulator World 2 looking at Bakerloo Line. Uh, this time we're looking at a round hall, the third uh, in uh, the chapter one, uh, third mission that is. So this one gave me some trouble. Um, I, I've done it before but ran into multiple um, issues, bugs, um, various challenges had to re-record several times so I'm gonna have uh, plenty of pointers and uh, advice on this one so um, hopefully this one will be of help to you uh, other episodes uh, I'm gonna do are probably gonna be pretty straightforward um, but you know if you want to you can have it playing uh, alongside while you're uh, running missions maybe it can help you to um, see slowdowns whenever you need to slow down ahead of time, uh, unlike me whenever I'm running through it and uh, uh, bust through the uh, the speed limit and so forth. So, uh, you know, hopefully these, these videos will uh, be helpful to you. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started into this one. Uh, starts out, like I said, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you're going to open up the left door, you're going to... Um, you know, you could just be sitting there waiting for the prompts, but I actually get the the train set up a little bit early. Uh, you still have to go back and you know uh, put the uh, put the train through the motions um, as the prompts tell you to, but it only takes a couple of seconds at that point uh, if you get it set up early. So it saves you a little bit of time, uh, and you're not just kind of sitting there waiting. So this is the uh, first bit of advice that I have for you. Uh, you can see it's raining outside uh, and that's going to have an effect on your traction. This uh, switch I just flipped, that's going to help you out quite a bit. It's going to prevent your wheels from slipping as you uh, accelerate in the rain or the snow. This will apply to uh, multiple levels on this line. Um, I haven't gone through every single level yet, but uh, I know there was at least one where it was entirely or almost entirely underground and I was getting wheel slippage the entire time and then I popped out at the end and uh, sure enough it was raining outside so um, that that variable um, I assume applied indoors for some reason uh, globally which caused my wheels to slip so if you use that switch that should uh, help you out quite a bit you don't have to um, you don't have to ease into the acceleration, it'll it'll moderate that for you. So a couple of things to note uh, as we go through this. Um, more or less this mission as you run down to uh, uh, the end of the, the tracks, you stop, uh, you get into the other end of the train, and then you, you drive back essentially. Um, there's a couple of problems that this creates, um, and I think it's the, the way that they've coded the software, but um, the first problem that it created for me was whenever I was coming back uh, the other direction. I don't know if I just came back too quickly. I was still following the uh, prescribed timelines, but it, after about two, maybe three stations, I got to the point where I had a red signal right out of the uh, uh, station and I just couldn't move forward anymore. I, I could, uh, you know, I would request to, um, from the dispatcher to go through, it would be denied. I would look down uh, on, the, uh, on the map and see that multiple trains were stopped down uh, downrange from me uh, at, re at red lights and uh, it just wasn't breaking up at all. It didn't matter if I waited five or ten minutes. It just wasn't going to fix the problem. So at that point I had to reset uh, because I had saved too, um, too close to that point where the game bugged out on me. So I'll show you where you can save um, just so that you avoid that situation and then once you get past that point you can save um, and you'll probably be just fine.
I'm about to run into another issue too. As soon as the uh, doors close and I start to move again, uh, I'm going to notice that uh, the brakes seem to be still uh, at least partially set. Uh, trains moving slow, and I have to fix that as well. Uh, I think it's the first time I've run into that issue. Not sure really what caused it, um, but essentially the solution was for me to. Uh, uh, move the train into shutdown, uh, restart up the uh, the brakes, you know, run down to zero, hit the, the button to uh, reset the alarm, move it uh, to one, um, and, and then uh, once the brake pressure came back up uh, to normal, I was able to start moving again without uh, that brake issue. Um, so, yeah, w one more bug that you get to see and uh, learn how to work through it. Uh, uh, on this particular mission. It, it seems to be full of those. But like I said, you could always use it as uh, something you can play in the that background while you're playing yourself. Um, you, you know, the noises might clue you in on uh, uh, points where you need to break because uh, you kind of... This game is really easy to lose uh, focus and uh, miss like uh, it's about to come up here where the speed's about to drop to about 30 miles per hour. I don't remember if I remembered it this time. I think I probably blew through it probably three or four times when trying to record this. Um, but this is a good example of uh, if you got a plan to the side. Uh, yep, right there went red. Uh, you know, if you've got this playing a few seconds ahead uh, where you're actually playing, it'll probably catch your attention and, you know, you, prevent you from doing the same thing. Uh, fortunately, the game is uh, pretty, uh, um, that's the word I'm looking for, pretty uh, tolerant of uh, mistakes that you may make uh, as you're playing through. As long as you get pretty close, um, it's not usually too hard to get gold medals on these. Uh, there's a couple in other lines that uh, make it look pretty near impossible, but I've got some solutions to that as well. Uh, once I get those recorded, you'll see what I mean. Uh, I might, uh, uh, once I get the video recorded, make a, put a link into this video to show you what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, th th this is one of those games that has uh, a bit of a learning curve, and, which is not in a bad way, because uh, you want to enjoy learning about trains and you know actually trying to work through the simulator and uh, enjoy that aspect of it. Unfortunately, there are bugs um, and other challenges uh, that take away from the game, unfortunately. Uh, and who, who knows, maybe some Dovetail uh, developers will watch this and uh, uh, be able to identify where the bug is and the code that's causing this, uh, you know, the, the save problem that I'd mentioned earlier uh, or other things. But um, if not, at least you've got some videos to help you get through some of the uh, detractors of this game because I think this can really be a, a really awesome game. Um, you know, a lot of fun. Um, the, the developers just could use some work in fixing some of the bugs, and uh, hopefully they will. Uh, but if not, uh, this will this will help you get through them. Versus having to do a whole lot of research and uh, frustration and lost time, um, and, and that's the main reason I'm I'm doing these videos. So hopefully they'll help you out. Um, and uh, you, you can get some more enjoyment out of the game rather than uh, uh, being frustrated so much by some of its aspects. Um, the uh, other problem that I had run into was uh, on the way back. Uh, I had kind of gotten into the habit of saving whenever I was stopped at stations. Um, and, you know, I, I screwed something up, I reloaded from the save, and I just could not get the train to move again. So I had to do some research, and uh, there's another mission on another line uh, that had a similar problem, uh, but ultimately the solution was the same. Uh, so what it seems like is happening is whenever the game saves and then reloads, it restores the train to the original settings, of uh, whenever it started out. Um, unfortunately, at that point in the mission, I'm in the other train cab, 
and the original one has the uh, the throttle in the forward position instead of the off position which prevents the train from going so if you find yourself in that situation you have to go back to the other end uh, of the train and reset everything and then go back to the correct end and then um, you know, after maybe you do a little bit of resetting on the brakes, it will start moving again. Uh, I actually duplicated that error uh, in this playthrough, so you could see it, <clears throat> and uh, you can take a look at it and see how I resolved it. It will probably help you out in other missions, because I have a feeling that this is a, a recurring issue. Um, so I also just noticed something. So. Uh, my intent was to try to record one episode a day. Um, I got a little bit behind uh, because of work and because of the challenges I had with this particular mission, uh, as I would mentioned earlier. So uh, today I was off, so I recorded uh, three episodes back to back. Uh, and now I'm working on editing them, and I realized that my keyboard uh, overlay wasn't recording my key clicks at all, which uh, is a bit disappointing. Um, considering how long I already put into these, so um, I'm not going to go back and re-record these unless I get some comments that say, hey, I'd really like to see these key clicks. Um, there's other missions where I think that the keyboard's going to come a little bit more handy, um, but I'm kind of setting it up here, even though these are a little bit more simpler uh, in terms of the buttons you have to push and when. Um, so, just for those that aren't aware, the uh, um, acceleration button is A, the uh, deceleration and braking uh, is D, and uh, that's mostly what's going to be getting clicked here. Um, the views switch between uh, usually one to get into the cab and three uh, for kind of a close uh, outside view like this one is. Uh, and then the arrow keys uh, in the lower right hand corner can be used to uh, uh, adjust the camera at that point. Uh, those, those are the main buttons that I use for, uh, for these next three videos. So uh, you're not really missing much at this point. Uh, definitely not enough, I think, to warrant re recording it. So uh, I apologize, and I'm going to have to do a better job of making sure that that's active and working before I uh, start recording in the future. So I apologize. Um, again, if, if it's really uh, uh, upsetting to anybody, I can uh, I can go back and re-record these, uh, but I'm hoping it'll be okay. One other button I forgot to mention uh, earlier was uh, you'll, you'll see whenever I stop, there'll be a overlay that uh, lets me open and close the doors. Uh, that's the tab key, so just hit the tab, then you can use your mouse to uh, click the appropriate button to open and close doors. Now, uh, for the rest of this video, if you want to uh, watch the whole thing through, you're obviously more than welcome to. Um, but I, I break these up into chapters just in case you're having issues with anything in particular, um, or you know you just want to jump ahead and make it a little bit easier. Um, Eventually we're going to get to uh, the end of this line at Harrow and Weldstone. Uh, if you want to skip ahead, I'll have a bookmark uh, in the video. So once we get to that point, I'll show you the uh, trick to get real uh, to the other end of the train real quick. I think this is going to come in handy into a lot of missions, uh, rather than having to spend literally one, two minutes just sitting there trying to run from one end of the train to the other. Um, it's a shortcut. Uh, yeah, I don't think that it is very well documented at all. I found it in uh, one of the forums I was reading, and uh, ever since I found that, it's been very, very helpful. Um, I did run into a problem with it on one of the other missions, um, but uh, yeah, once I get to that mission, I'll definitely point that one out. Uh, to, to save some folks uh, a lot of grief uh, and having to reset a, a multi-hour you know, hour mission. So at this point I don't have a whole lot of comments uh, until we get to the end of the line and turn around. Um, so 
Uh, just enjoy the rest of the ride. Uh, like I said, feel free to uh, jump forward to that section uh, if you'd like to, based on the chapters I've got inserted. Um, and then uh, I'll, I'll have more commentary at that point.
So I recommend that at this point you save if you haven't in a while. Uh, that'll save you from running into the issue I had with uh, the, the signal problem, uh, or at least it'll give you a save point where you can recover from. Alright, so uh, we've reached the end of the line effectively. Uh, we're going to be going pretty slow here. Um, I think it's around uh, ten, under 10 miles per hour uh, until we reach this, uh, this barricade. Uh, and then we're going to uh, shut down the train and, uh, and head to the other end and uh, essentially uh, rerun this whole thing the, in the opposite direction. Um, this is a little bit time consuming, um, but you want to make sure you do it fairly quickly because if you don't, you're going to end up uh, behind the power curve on uh, getting to the stations on time and that's just going to compound uh, over time. and. Uh, um, could prevent you from getting uh, a gold medal on this, and uh, like I said, this this one's pretty time consuming, so you don't want to necessarily have to do this one over again. Um, so uh, we're going to talk talk you through this and uh, uh, show you a tip that should help. I didn't mention this earlier, but uh, while you're in this cab view, you can use the arrow keys. Uh, this is the left arrow twice to give you a better view of this key down here in the corner. Um, rather than using the mouse to turn around in your chair, uh, this just makes it a lot easier to see it and uh, manipulate that key. So now at this point, while you're sitting in that chair, you can hit the control and minus key together and it will instantly transport you into the engineer's chair in the other opposite end uh, of the train. Uh, rather than uh, running through the train and opening all the doors or opening the doors running outside the train all the way down the length of it, uh, it just saves a whole lot of time uh, here on this mission in particular and it also saves a whole lot of time uh, on some of the other lines where you have to uh, properly set up locomotives uh, on either end uh, uh, of the train and uh, instead of having to run back and forth this just saves so much time um, so again control minus together and that'll transport you back and forth as long as you're sitting in uh, the engineer's chair Again, at this point, um, if you save before your turnaround, I would again recommend you don't uh, save again until you get, I think it was either two or three stations down the line um, where I ran into that uh, signaling problem that just wouldn't uh, undo itself. Um, so yeah, you just, you just don't want to get this far into a mission and have to start all over again because of uh, a bug like that. It's not fun.
Alright, so I just saved. Uh, the train was stopped, which is why I think this bug gets created. I don't think it's an issue if you save uh, while the train is in motion. Uh, and I'm going to actually uh, pop out to the main menu and, um, and reload and you'll see that uh, once I try to get started that I'm not going to be able uh, to move. Alright, so at this point you can see the door is closed, uh, my throttle's up to three, and uh, absolutely no movement. Uh, so what I did is I just moved back to the original uh, uh, cab. You can see that the key's in and it was set to uh, the forward position. Uh, so I, I uh, moved it to the off position and uh, removed the key. Then I moved back to the original, uh, sorry, the, uh, the currently forward cab. Uh, reset uh, the, the brakes a little bit there and uh, now you can see it's able to move forward again freely. So that's how you fix that. Uh, it doesn't take too long if you know what the problem is. Um, so again, I found that solution in a forum talking about a completely different line. So this apparently isn't the only uh, section that this, or sorry, the only uh, set of missions that this thing uh, or this issue crops up in. So uh, just keep it in the back of your mind for the future if you run into these uh, issues uh, before I make videos for, uh, for other lines uh, later. So this concludes uh, mission three of uh, chapter one of Bakerloo Line. Uh, lots of different issues covered in this one. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Uh, if so, please uh, like, share, subscribe uh, for new videos as they come out. I'm planning to put them out as, as regularly as possible. Uh, and hopefully some of them will be useful to you. Uh, and this, uh, like I said, concludes this mission, another gold medal. And uh, I'll see you on, uh, on the next uh, mission.